Hey everybody, how's it going? It's the Daily Shooter, and today we're going to be taking a look at the coolest semi-automatic 12-gauge shotgun that's magazine-fed that I have ever used. This is the HDM 1050 Protector from Max Arms. Let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, so like I was saying before, the HDM 1050 is a semi-automatic magazine-fed 12-gauge shotgun. This is the five-round magazine that it comes with. The magazine that I showed you guys in the very beginning is actually a 10-round 12-gauge magazine, and I'm happy to report that both of these have worked perfectly fine. I've had no issues, no malfunctions, no problems whatsoever, which is great, especially for the price point on this thing. But this 10-round is a beast. I mean, imagine 10 rounds of double a buck or 10 rounds of slugs. You got a cannon on your hands, and then instead of having to fumble with shells once you run out, you know, loading one shell at a time, two if you're pretty good, three if you're awesome, and four if you're John Wick. Uh, instead of that, you can simply load another magazine with five shells in it, and you're good to go again. So it's uh, pretty convenient as well, and it makes it a very uh, capable platform. I mean, this thing right here offers a lot of firepower, uh, so it's a pretty good package. Now this, as you can see, is loosely based off of like an AR style or an AR design, at least externally. Internally, it's completely different, but on the outside, it does kind of look like an AR, maybe an AR-10, something that's chamber for a 308 or a 65 Creedmoor. Obviously, it has to be a little bit bigger to accept those uh, 12 gauge shot shells, but uh, it looks really nice. This thing has some really nice aesthetic features to it. Uh, we'll go over some of these features real quick. So we have a fixed stock in the back. It's pretty much like a rifle length stock that you would be used to if you have a rifle length stock. It might be just a little bit longer, but still it's a pretty good size and it leads to a really nice length to pull. For me, it's pretty much perfect. I would say that this is like a full extension on your AR. If you have an adjustable stock and you put it all, all the way to the back, that's about the length that you're gonna get right there. Uh, uses a standard or a simple AR style grip, except this grip right here is very nicely uh, rubber coated. It's got that little finger groove right there. It feels really nice in your hand and it makes for a very comfortable time shooting because with that rubberized grip, um, you know, you don't, you don't feel any ting or anything on your hand like you would get out of a hard plastic. Uh, now, as far as the lower receiver goes, uh, this is kind of where this thing steps above and beyond other uh, magazine fed shotguns that I've used in the past because they've really done some nice design elements here. For instance, you have the uh, winterized trigger guard. So you have the winterized trigger guard that's skeletonized just to kind of reduce weight. And I should mention that this thing is actually fairly light for a 20 inch barrel shotgun. It comes in at about eight pounds. And at eight pounds for a 20 inch barrel shotgun, I'm gonna say that's pretty good. And they, they accomplished that by some of the weight relieving cuts and stuff that they've done here. So again, winterized trigger guard, it's got some of those weight relieving cuts. Even on the back of the receiver right here, there are four different holes that have been drilled all the way through to again, just kind of take out some of that material and, and alleviate some of that weight. Uh, I don't think that degrades the overall strength of this lower in any way, shape or form. Uh, on the front, on the magwell right here, that's been very heavily skeletonized and uh, it looks really nice. It's got a nice kind of bowed out shape to it. They re removed a bunch of material and uh, it just looks super nice. Again, this is probably one of the nicest ones that I have seen uh, out of a semi-automatic 12 gauge in an AR style platform. So that lower receiver just looks really nice. It's got an ambidextrous safety selector. So that's kind of a bonus as well. It also has an extended mag release. So instead of going with like a more traditional AR style mag release, you know, that little uh, kind of oval or jelly bean shaped thing. Uh, it's got this big and nice uh, mag release right there, which helps you, uh, you know, get a good push on that thing. Uh, as far as the upper receiver goes, it's gonna be a side charger and uh, it's, it's very nice, very smooth action. Uh, it's got a decent 
side charging handle. It's not too oversized where it's going to get in the way of everything, but at the same time, it's big enough where you can get a good hold on it. That's also skeletonized, but it's very smooth. There's no sharp edges or anything like that. Uh, it does have a Picatinny flat top rail on the top right here, and we have some uh, Magpul style sights on top of this thing as well. And uh, these sights right here actually work pretty good in getting you on. Uh, you know, in close range uh, with a 12 gauge or if you're using slugs, uh, then yes, range matters and where you're pointing matters. Don't believe the movies. It's not just a spray and you just get the whole room type of thing. Uh, with a 12 gauge, I mean, if you're within 40 feet, it's pretty important to understand exactly where you have this thing pointing. So having a sighting system on here is nice. Flat top rail, you can always put a red dot just to make it a little bit faster and not have to worry about, you know, the peep sights and everything else. Uh, so we have that on top. On the front, we have what looks to be a 15 inch handguard. I'm just kind of guessing at that length, but uh, it, it appears to be about a 15 inch handguard. And then we have, it uh, might be 16 because it does kind of stick out at the end a little bit more there. Uh, we have key mod towards the middle of this. So we have, again, the pick rail that comes all the way up. We even have some pick rail towards the back underneath here. Then it goes to key mod. That key mod is going to be at the 12, 3, 6, and 9 o'clock positions. And then in front of that, we have more pick rail, which comes out to these kind of like spear looking points on, again, all four sides. So uh, it's really nice. You can attach different things on your uh, pick rail to the front. You can attach different things to the pick rail here or at the top and then use key mod for everything else. And then we have this kind of extended barrel shroud right here. This barrel shroud is actually uh, on there pretty good and it's to kind of, it kind of holds everything together. There's a plate that's on the inside and it applies pressure to that plate, which then applies pressure to everything else, keeps the handguard on and you know, all that stuff. So um, even though this looks on the exterior kind of like an AR, it works completely different. So what we have here is we have a piston system on the inside. This piston system is adjustable for the types of loads that you're going to be running. So this is what I ran primarily, okay? This is the cheap stuff that you get at Walmart. And the reason I like to use that is because, well, it's inexpensive and it's easy to find and it's not going to bruise your shoulder if you put 100 rounds to it. So this is what I use primarily, uh, but I also tested it out with uh, buckshot and with slugs and all sorts of different stuff that I had. I even ran a bunch of this. I had uh, five boxes of this as my only one left. This is a number six steel bird shot. Um, and this is also a high brass. So high brass, high brass, high brass. And then this is going to be that, uh, you know, low recoil, low brass stuff right here. This is primarily all what I use to test this thing out. So like I was saying before, it's different in the way that it works because we have that piston that's on the inside and currently it's set up for those lighter loads. Uh, I have another piston here. This is going to be the heavier load piston. As you can see, it's kind of scorched and scarred a little bit, you know, from just putting rounds to it. it just needs to be cleaned up and that'll come off. But uh, this is the piston that you would use for the heavier loads. So you switch this out, you can switch over to your high brass. It's very easy to do simply by turning this thing off. And uh, there's a good uh, video on their website, on the Max Arms website, that'll show you exactly how to do all of that takedown stuff. Uh, in the back right here, it's also pretty easy to take down. There is a recoil or a buffer spring in here and a buffer. Uh, and so you would just change that out for the lighter spring for the buffer as well. So those two things which are doable in maybe five to 10 minutes, just taking everything apart and putting everything back together, uh, will change you over from the light or heavy load. So again, like I was saying, externally it kind of looks like an AR, but internally it runs completely different. And I have, I'm very, very happy to say that I've had zero issues with it whatsoever. I've used this to uh, shoot body armor, to test body armor. I've uh, put hundreds of rounds through it so far. I know that I've put at least 200 rounds of this stuff right here through it, plus all the other stuff. So I've put hundreds of rounds through this thing and it's run perfectly flawless for me. Uh, I like the operation of it, the size, the weight, the balance of it feels great. And it's a 12 gauge semi-automatic magazine fed shotgun. That in itself is just a cool deal. Now there was one other thing about this that really kind of caught my attention. So it's something that you're gonna see in shotguns of this style. This one in particular seemed very nice, but that was the recoil impulse. It feels very nice to shoot, it feels very soft to shoot, and it feels very linear in its recoil. So when you have a traditional shotgun that has a stock that's gonna be lower than the bore, obviously you have a lot of that weight that's above the, uh, the part that's going to be touching your body and so that's going to lead to a little bit more muzzle rise but everything here works in line with one another so the gas piston system works in line with the bore the recoil of the um, you know the recoil itself and then the action actually comes back directly in line 
with the stock and having everything in line made for a much more shootable 12 gauge. Even when you're shooting that high brass heavy stuff, you're shooting slugs, it feels a lot better than, I mean, I'm talking like $1,500, $2,000, $2,500 shotguns, you know, that I've, that I've shot that don't feel this soft and don't feel this good. So the ability to have the gas system in the front, but then this recoil spring in the back right here and having all of those systems work in line together as it comes back on your shoulder and, you know, on your hand and everything else, uh, it just leads to a really nice shooting shotgun. It feels really good. Um, you know, it's, it comes with some stuff. I guess I can show you if I lean over the table here, don't mind me. Uh, it comes with this little kit right here, which is going to have your chokes and stuff in it. So if you guys wonder if this is, uh, something that you could choke up, yep, you could choke up you can put, uh, you know, a little tool works just like a standard shotgun and go ahead and, uh, change out your chokes. And so I believe it comes with a one, three and a five. So you can use those uh, depending on what you want to do with it. Because, I mean, it does have a 20-inch barrel. So uh, technically, I mean, you could use this for skeet. You know, put a 10-round magazine in there. You can have some fun with your friends, use it for skeet, shoot some uh, bowling pins. Uh, you could use this for hunting. You could use it for anything that a standard shotgun could be used for. And so uh, I, I think that, you know, that kind of leads to the value being a little bit better. Uh, it's not something where you're going to be able to duck down really far with a five-round magazine even in it because that's going to lift it up quite a bit but uh, it does work out pretty well. Now, there is one thing that I do want to mention. Okay, so here it is with the magazine in it right here. As you can see, it kind of sticks it up just a little bit higher. With the 10 round, it's obviously even higher than that. But one thing I do want to mention is with an open bolt, um, one issue that I was having was, and I have to bring it up, even though it only happened once, it's still something that happened once, is I was able to over basically over insert the magazine and so what i had to do was i had to lock the bolt back this does have last round bolt hold open and i can manually lock it back same as an ar just simply you know push on that bring your bolt back let it go and it's going to lock it into place locked it into place and i just went ahead and stripped the magazine out but i was able to over insert it one time and uh, it wouldn't do a justice justice if i didn't tell you guys that so uh, the controls on it being so familiar make it really easy to use right out of the box makes it feel very comfortable all the finishes and everything are nice it's got a very nice flat black coating to it very tactical look and uh it's a cool shotgun uh it is a ton of fun i can tell you that uh, max arm sent this over to the channel for me to test out and review this and uh you know i've tried other shotguns of this style in the past and i've had feeding issues where you know on the depending on magazines and stuff but on the third or fourth round, you'd get, you know, a failure to feed or, you know, you get some other type of malfunction, maybe an extraction uh, malfunction, something like that, where it just, you know, what wouldn't run correctly. This one right here, after hundreds of rounds from moment one, I never even put any oil on it at the time, worked perfect. So I've been really happy with it. Uh, if you guys want more information on this, all you have to do is go over to my website. My website is linked down below. I don't sell anything on my website, uh, but I do try and put discount codes and links and stuff like that over there so you guys can find the things that you're actually looking for. If I do have uh, something specific like a discount code for a, you know, a specific product that I'm reviewing, you'll be able to find that there too. So anyway, uh, this is the Max Arms HDM 1050 Protector 12 gauge shotgun. Definitely worth checking out. Thank you all for watching. Appreciate it. Please like, subscribe. Have a great day.